Hello guys and welcome back to Astronage. We are in Corruption 19 and we are going into Act 3. We need to choose a champion and I think there is only one choice here because we do not have a bandit hood and we need someone on this lane on his own and that is gonna be the assassin. There we go. Easy choice. We also got three world win axes for him. I'm not sure how good that is. He might want some base attack speed to begin with. But um, yeah, I want to see how that actually goes. We got some really speedy kind of... We got a really speedy setup here. Uh, so that's interesting. And um, do we want to upgrade him? Mm, probably not. I think the frail defense is probably more, more interesting here. The burns as well. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the frail defense. I think that's very important because he's our only tank. He's our only tank. I mean, the illusionist is gonna help out quite a lot. I think it's gonna be important to upgrade the mana spring amulet as well here for the illusions to get his three illusions out so they can tank when the druid is not. Also, upgrading the ascension cloak is pretty. I mean, everything is important, but. There are some things more important than others here. Survival is definitely important. Ooh. That's not really any good. None of these options are what I was looking for, but okay. Hmm. The Hermit? I'm not sure if the Hermits also work for the Illusionist. I... Uh, I'm assuming not, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. But I don't think that's actually how it works. So what lane are we gonna go for here? Mm. I don't know. We got elite battle here. Okay. Uh, we should be able to take all the elite battles here. Getting into this merchant. Okay. I think the mid lane. I might be completely mistaken, but I feel like that might be the way to go. I don't think there is anything I want to change here. Let's go. Let's go for it. We we need yeah, good illusion sound. Should be okay. Because the illusions will tank for now. Yeah, that's giving us just enough time to uh, get the druids health up again. Actually, they're gonna keep it. <laughs> yeah, that's actually quite good. How do we do here on damage? I'm Paramancer, Assassin, Illusionist, Frostmancer. So the Frostmancer is not really doing much here. But he's applying a lot of frost and applying a lot of burns. Which is a lot more important than doing damage. The damage can come from the Paramancer and the Assassin now. Ooh, what do we have here? Some decent options, I guess. Missing health. Hmm, not really. Increase your attack. Uh, increase your defense, sorry. Um, hmm. I mean, this 20% speed is probably better than one of the World Axes. It's not gonna help us much other than that, but. I'm just gonna take it for now because it's upgraded and got 20% speed, which will help the other two whirlwind axes get much faster into that. I don't know what I wanna call it, but speedy build. Please no totem. Shit. Okay. Okay. Ready, set, go. Hopefully he can kill that ward pretty quickly. Should be all right here. Nope. I don't know how he died the druid, but he died. And we do have the morale to actually take the hit, but yeah, it's still annoying. Fool's crown. Uh, nah, I don't really. What about the up? Yeah, I think the, I think this royal up at least might be good on uh, the illusionist actually. I'm gonna take that and put it in here instead of the. Um, Henry has been. Yeah. Now he's gonna attack uh, backline. I actually like that. I actually like that. Oh, it's lagging. Seems to be doing that when you've been in the game for a long period of time. Oh, we get Interstellar already. Holy moly. I 
I guess we can go for the uh, max health and defense permanently. Yeah, because we got, we're got we using frail defense anyway. And we don't really use our max health anywhere, like a lot. And we will definitely not go for the speed permanently ban. Uh, or the speed ban. Penalty, not ban. Utility, okay, go for it. <laughs> so, right. This is gonna be a little bit insane with the minus two to defense. I'm not sure what that's gonna do, but uh, well, a lot, a lot of things is resting upon the shoulders of the druid right now, because his illusions. What are they come out? They're coming out with minus one in defense. So they're just gonna die. <laughs> they're not gonna be any good. They got they got a bit of health, but it's not a lot. So, a lot rest on the druid shoulder here. Um, yeah, I mean... Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. But I, I feel like the Pyromancer should handle this with this build here. He, he definitely is good. With this build, he uh, we saw that in the last episode. Uh, or the, not the last episode, but the last run as well. He had the exact same build and he was going absolutely nuts. Um, let's move on here with the new laggy event. <laughs> Veil of the Holy Mother. What is the Holy Mother? I can never remember what it is. It's a it's a rather good legendary. I just I can't remember it. Is it gonna be any good for us? I don't remember. Um, Doom next. Uh, we, we're going into a normal battle. I guess we can be doomed because we will probably only lose maybe two or three morale instead of ten. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> that's actually really bad. That's actually really bad. What, what is it? Oh, the hidden thing. Right. I mean, it's it's pretty good if you don't have a hidden ability, but in our situation, it's not really working out. I can never remember what that is. It's it's funny. I should. I should remember it now with how many hours I've played this game, or how many runs I've been playing. I just can't. Some things is just not, you know, getting into my mind that easily. What is going on here? Right. Yeah, we, we, I think we're gonna lose this battle. Um, probably. There we go. The Doom is just, you know, too powerful. Doomed on the two wrong characters, and uh, yeah, that's what you're gonna get. I mean, we're not done yet, but uh, I, I mean, we, we only lost three morale here, compared to ten, if we took the other thing in the event. I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. We lost less here than we would have uh, otherwise. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's not all that bad. So, event, lead, whoop, whoa. My mouse just went crazy. Well, my, my hand on, on the mouse went crazy. Huh. Well, give me that gold. <laughs> I mean, we... <laughs> some of these guys got no health, man. Uh, shit. Yeah, this is not good. She used that. I have a feeling the druid might die here. Oh, I couldn't even. I can. I could. I didn't. Yeah, he's he's also dead. We might lose this battle. That was a nice illusion. But I'm not sure it's gonna be enough. How many did we lose? Okay, we lost three of them. Jesus. That was tough. That was tough, but it's still worth it. We still got 19 morale, so it's not all that bad. Witch stick? Nah. I'm just gonna take the gold.
And then again. See, the Frostmancer is not really working out here. So maybe he would like to get some MP. He's quite fast with this build. Ah, just take the gold. Who are we gonna upgrade? Uh, the Burns is a good shout. I mean... Uh, no. Hmm. No. Yeah, I think I think it's gonna be uh, the Pyromancer here. I think getting those... Uh, what are they called? Burns on. A lot more burns on will help us. Are we gonna go for uh, the Merchant here? We got a lot of gold, man. Could be important to get through the next couple of um, battles. I mean, we do have the morale, so we could just take the events. Uh, but I might, might as well go in here. And then again, we do need that. I, I, I can wait. I think I'll be, I don't. I don't really feel like we need to take that merchant. So why take it? Hmm. Could we win that easy battle and get a bit of morale there? I think we could. Okay. I mean, it's not gonna be easy, but it's not gonna be tough either. I think we should be able to win this one. Ah, <sighs> yeah. See, he. Uh, I, I was looking at the druid all the time here, and he did. He didn't never heal himself, so healing is a problem for sure. When we are getting bleeds and stuff on us, we are in trouble. Because we don't have a lot of health to deal with that and we don't have a lot of healing to keep ourselves alive. So we are really much a glass cannon right now. Um, yeah, see, defense doesn't really do anything for us. Doesn't really help us out. So we lost morale again. That's not good. Oh, this... This is gonna go... Well, this can... This can be anything, man. This can be anything. Okay, go on. What? Are you kidding me? Goddamn bastard. See, we can't really heal them. That's the problem here. But, he died really quickly. So that's... Good. Okay, bandit hood. Well, not really helpful now. Uh, take the gold. Move on. Yeah, I feel like we're going burn again. One more elite battle. See, the poisonous is gonna. We need to kill it really fast, because the poison is gonna kill us. That's my biggest worry here. We might, leave, we might, we might need to use the Holy War here. It depends on how fast he's gonna go down, because the poison is definitely gonna kill us. Otherwise. And the stuns. There we go. Good burn. That's actually not bad, but it's not upgraded, so it doesn't really work out. But it's definitely not bad with um, the amount of frost we're putting up. Okay. Right, one merchant, one normal. What? Uh, uh, sorry, event, normal, and merchant. Um, another passive. I guess we're gonna go for maybe the assassin now. The poisons. Or the frost. Nah, I think we're going with the assassin. Getting his damage up. I'm very worried. I, I don't. I don't feel like we got the setup to actually win um, against the bosses. Wow, it's 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 funny because it didn't lag in my last run. I and 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 I was only away from the computer for like ten minutes. So it's it's like there is a point where this game is just that lagging. No idea why. It doesn't help to actually go out the game and then in again. I actually had to restart my computer to make it go away. No idea what that is. No idea. But it, it comes when you have been into this game for a long time. It might be it might be something to do with my computer 
and well the specs and and this game because i haven't really seen anyone else uh, speak about it on the forums so it's probably down to my computer uh, and this game realm tooth no i don't want that a random ability is upgraded lose 60 gold sure not bad okay normal battle normal battle let's see how bad it is it's bad it's it's pretty bad <laughs> but it's not as bad as it could be could be worse but uh, it could also be better it's all about the pyromancer here how fast is he gonna burn them probably gonna lose the druid Yeah. Oh, big healing. Still gonna die. Okay. But I'm not too... It's not too bad to lose one morale here. And I, I'm okay with that. We still got 21, so it's not that bad. Nope. Take the gold. Okay, here we go. Now we can upgrade everything, I think. We got a lot of gold, man. Yeah, nothing I really want here. Nope. Just upgrade whatever we are. Yeah, just uh, just upgrade, um, you know, that one. Two war axes. This one to get more illusions out. Sell. Yeah, just sell everything. And upgrade something again. I don't need anything here. Just sell it all, upgrade whatever we can. Oh, we can upgrade twice here, nice. Probably this. What is this gonna do? All enemies? Sure. And then one of the bound elements. It's pretty sweet, man. We almost got everything upgraded. Only missing two items. Is it gonna be enough? I have a feeling no, but I could be wrong. One more normal battle and then the bosses. Oh, shit. Right. Right. Ooh. Tough battle here. Doubt we are gonna win it. Well, we might win it, but we're definitely not gonna not lose morale oh, maybe we are holy shit that was a big burn right there <laughs> did that double hit I, th I, th I think he actually i think he used i think he, what did i'm not sure what happened there that was a that was that was big something happened and something died really quickly okay so the king again <sighs> right I actually want the assassin to go for his sorry ass. I want to kill that guy first. I mean, I'm probably gonna lose here, um, but I'm not sure. This is gonna be a tough battle. Get some of those illusions out, please. Otherwise, we're gonna die real quickly. Okay, should be good now. Should should be good. There we go. Nice. 10,000k. No, 10k, not 10,000k. Demon present. Hmm. Hmm. That's a very interesting one for the illusion. 200 piercing damage, you know. Instead of a primal thruster? Nah. I mean, it's interesting, but... We want his um, illusions upgraded? Probably not. Probably not. I'm gonna go for some healing. Okay, so the oracle here. We do not have any burns with us, which is worrisome. And we are also getting hit on the illusionist, which is also very worrying. So we basically need to use the healing pot straight up. Hopefully. 
the Pyromancer is just gonna go nuts and win this for us. But I'm not sure. This is... Well, I, I think the next battle is probably more hard than this one, but this is also pretty hard. Okay, well, I fucked up. I fucked up. Yeah. I should not have used that pot. It was not needed. It was not needed, but I guess uh, it is what it is. But I don't think we're gonna win the last battle. I could be wrong, but I just don't see us winning it. We don't have the healing power and sustainability, and I don't think the Paramancer and the Assassin is actually gonna do it for us. The Assassin is actually not working with this build. That's interesting. <laughs> I would have thought he would work. Uh, maybe I should give him uh, one of these instead. But the front man to have another one. Yeah, I think that's probably better. So a higher percentage speed to begin with. I think that's better. Here goes. Nothing I can do now. No pots or anything. It's all up to the gods. Well, math gods, that is. I doubt we're gonna win it. But again, we got three illusions when uh, he is switching over, I think. So he has to kill the illusion. Okay, we might win it. Well, guys, Corruption 19, done and dusted. Pyromancer again, strong as fuck with this build. <laughs> yeah, the Assassin definitely wanted some more speed right off the bat. Um, victory. We have unlocked Corruption 20. Oh boy. Well, that's exciting. So I first time Corruption 19. Dang, that's nice. So Corruption 20, if I'm not mistaken, and I doubt I am, I believe you only have two champions from the get-go. Start with one less hero. That's the biggest penalty. I mean, that's just an insane... That's just... It's so much harder. It's, it's all the other Corruption levels, level from level, have such a small amount of what is called power struggle between them or power search or whatever you want to call it I don't know what the correct term is but this one from 19 to 20 this one is insane you have one less hero what the fuck that's a that's a big hit that's a big hit I don't know what to do I have absolutely no idea what would be a good setup I'm pretty sure the assassin is not that strong I have a feeling the Pyromancer is going to be one of the four champions. Is he going to be one of the first ones? No. He's probably probably going to be the third one you want to come back for and take uh, for Act 2. Because Act 2, I have a feeling Act, uh, act 1 is going to be okay. Um, but I have a feeling that Act 2 is going to be real tough. And having the Pyromancer in Act 2 with some decent items, I think that's going to be very important. So I'm feeling healer tank to begin with, like the druid and the blood mage. Then come back for the pyro, and then in the third act you can go for... I mean the illusionist is not a bad shout here, because he can have four illusions down here. So he, he will not be bad to have actually. Uh, but someone else, someone someone who would uh, do some damage. Could be the illusionist, could be alchemist, could be ronin, frostmancer, wild mage. Anyone who could do some damage, even the Berserker or the Brawler, but I feel like um, I feel like the Illusionist might be a good choice actually because he got he, he could have four Illusions out. Not a bad not a bad shout, and he's not that bad with bad items either. He's he's just a, a good character to have to just plop some items on. But if you get the Mana Spring as you saw before, that's pretty strong. The Mana Spring is pretty strong on him. But yeah, I have a feeling this is gonna be our setup. Maybe with the illusion, um, but it, it depends on what items we we get. If we don't get any item for the pyromancer, well, we're not gonna choose them. Then we're gonna choose something else, of course. But I feel like these two guys to begin with is the way I'm gonna go. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna see you next time for Corruption 20. See you around, lads.